Hello, I'm John, I'm a psychotherapist and I'm here to answer your questions. We ask the internet to ask us anything about psychology, psychotherapy, well-being, basically how your mind works. And despite rumours to the contrary, I do not get any advance notice of these questions. So, thinking on my feet here, performance anxiety at its best. So. Let's have a look at what today's question is. My son recently tried to commit suicide. I don't know if it was a serious attempt, but I want to know what I can do to help him. Suicide. Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. There's a, a, a solution that I'll mention at the end of this video, which, which which may help, but let's, let's just understand what's happening here. If somebody tries to take their own life, they have lost any sense of hope for the future. They've lost any sense that things will get better. And through my own experiences in life, I've, I've, I've shared this before openly um, on, on radio, on TV, um, I did get to a very, very low ebb in my own life and I seriously thought about taking my own life. I just didn't see how things could get better. Really interestingly, within about an hour, they did. And I'm very glad to this day that I didn't take my own life. It's really simple. What we need to do is find a way to get people to just press pause and to engage their thinking brain and, and, and to really just turn down the intensity of what's happening in their emotional brain. I know it's hugely distressing. It must be hugely distressing for your son and it must be enormously distressing for you. But if we can just get somebody to stop, calm down, press pause. Elsewhere on this channel, I put up a video about a thing called 7-Eleven Breathing. Just do it. Just get your son to do it. Just you know, get, get him back into his thinking brain and not his emotional brain. But also the secret of it to some extent is to see the context of, of, of how intensely upset they, they feel at the moment. You know, perhaps just rising up in a, in a hot air balloon or in some way looking down, coming out to the wide angle shot and looking down at their life in the context of their whole life. This intense upset now, this thing that's gone wrong. Well, you know, there they were born born this small screaming child and there they are going to die an old, 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 old person, maybe with their children or grandchildren or great grandchildren around them. And in that life, they will have faced many challenges and much adversity, but they will have overcome those challenges and difficulties and the adversity. And what we need to do is just try and get them to stop, press pause, have a think, about what's going on at the moment. What we need to do is to get them to stop and just do nothing for a little while and go back to examining their, their needs. Where are their needs not being met? We've all got the same needs. They are needs that we were born with. They are innate needs, um, very often referred to as the, the human givens. And I'll, I'll put a, a link at the bottom of this, this, um, this screen so that you can find out a little bit more about that. But Somewhere along the line, their innate needs are not being met at the moment. And that's where we need to put in the effort to understand what those needs are and to help them get those needs met and met in, in ways which are balanced and sustainable. So some while ago, I, I created an app along with a, a great colleague of mine, um, Peter Grange, and we created this app to help people to just press their own pause button. And if you've got a smartphone anywhere in the world, please just search out Better Stop Suicide. It's an app which will, which it's, it's best populated with some information about you and your own contacts and your own data. And it's completely free of charge to anybody who wants to use it. Have a look at it and see the ways in which it can, can help people. And I know from the feedback that we've had from, from lots of different corners of the planet that it has already saved uh, many lives. But try and get that, the, the person, if they are suicidal, download that app at a time that they're actually feeling well, when they've perhaps recovered from things, when they can you know, look at things more calmly. Install the app on their phone, it's there ready to help them. The most important thing 
is that they have, and, and, and again, this is a feature of the app, but it, that they have somebody um, that they can just call and connect with in some way um, to help them to press their own pause button. I, I hope that helps. I know it can be enormously distressing when, when your, your own child um, tries to take their own life um, and whether they succeed or not, you spend a great deal of time soul searching and, and asking yourself what, what you did wrong, what you could have done differently, how, how you could have prevented it. That's, that's not really at the moment a useful way to spend your time. Go and study those, those human givens, those innate emotional needs and resources that we all have and, and find a way to help them get their needs met. If you found this helpful, please like, share, subscribe, comment below, send in your questions and share it with all your friends worldwide. One last really important thing, please take care of each other and take care of yourself. Thank you.